Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. I'm Chris Allen. This is your weather podcast for December 18th. As uh, we're uh, getting oh so close now, just one week away from Christmas. Yeah. I still have a, just a little bit of shopping to get done, but uh, most of it's done. But one week away, one week from today, uh, is the big day. So uh, we're on the countdown now, and we've got some weather to talk about as we get on into the weekend. We've been talking about it a little bit over the last couple of days about the potential for some heavy rainfall. Uh, the concern is here that that uh, is looking more valid with, e- with each day that passes and new computer forecast guidance that comes in suggesting that uh, heavy rain, maybe even some flooding, is a real possibility here in the Mid-South region. Much of the Ohio Valley, anywhere you go, especially north of the Ohio River, where there's been a snowpack for several days, uh, temperatures are going to warm up the next few days. All that's going to melt, so you're going to have runoff. And then add to that maybe uh, two, three, up to four inches of potential rainfall over the area that's that's a real concern especially in the ohio river basin so all that uh coming this way this weekend it is going to warm up though and you'll be able to feel that starting a little bit uh more so tomorrow than today we had that weak cold front come through yesterday and that brought the temperatures down a bit uh but uh, we're going to feel about the same today as we did yesterday and then much warmer over the next few days Looking at the temperatures from the Bowling Green Airport, the stats that we call it, from the Almanac, 51 was the official high temperature yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened around 1.30 yesterday. 47 is the average high temperature, so we were 4 degrees above average. 25 was our low temperature. That actually happened late last night before midnight. 29 is where we're supposed to be for an average low. So we were four degrees below average. One year ago, we had a high of 64 and a low of 45 back in 2012. And, of course, no precipitation, rainfall, or anything else over the last 24 hours. We're holding at 2.97 for the month of December. And we're running still a little bit, just slightly, about two-tenths of an inch above average for the month. And year to date, we are at nine and three quarter inches above average. But I can assure you this that over the coming days, as we get into the weekend, we're going to see those rain totals really hit a high mark here. We could add several inches of rain to uh, not only the month, but the year. We're going to end the year on a big time surplus of precipitation, way above average. Today, though, High pressure is in control and sitting practically on top of a sunny, seasonable today, around 50 for an afternoon high with a south wind at 10. Tonight will be clear and not as chilly as this morning. We have temperatures starting out in the 20s. We're only going to get down to 37 tonight thanks to that southerly wind flow at about 6 miles an hour. Now for Thursday, much of the day will be Well, let's say mostly to partly sunny. There will be increasing clouds as we go through the day. And um, we're going to get up to around 60 degrees thanks to southerly winds, quite breezy at 15 to 25 miles per hour. The big deal, one of the biggest impacts that we'll have over the coming days will be the wind. It is going to be breezy uh, pretty much every day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, All through the weekend, uh, the winds are really going to kick up and stay that way for a while. Now, as we get into late Friday night, say after midnight, early Friday morning, we'll begin to see showers moving into the region from our west. Slow-moving cold front is going to stall out over the region. I mean, it's just going to park here. It's going to put it in park and stay. And ripples of low pressure are going to ride along that front, kind of like a train on the tracks. And as a result, each time uh, one of those low-pressure impulses passes by, it will enhance the rainfall. 
and at times there will be thunderstorms. There's a possibility we could even see a few stronger thunderstorms. That's still in question. It all depends on the amount of instability right now. The instability looks greater south of us than it does north of us or in our area. So we'll keep an eye on it, though. But the thunderstorms will only enhance uh, the heavy rainfall. 60% chance of rain and thunderstorms likely Friday with a high of 66. Breezy southwest winds 15 to 30. And then Saturday, probably the heaviest rains expected. 80% chance of rain and thunderstorms. 64 and that ironically on the first day of winter winter arrives saturday morning at 11 11 a.m central time it's not going to feel like it not going to look like it either heavy rains continue saturday night into early sunday for the first half of sunday at least a 60 percent chance of rain much of the thunderstorm activity will be out and the front will begin to pick up some momentum and start to move out of the area A morning high of 63 degrees on Sunday, but then the temperatures begin to fall throughout the day. We get down to 33 Sunday night. Now, really no concerns here about winter weather, at least for this go-round. It's all going to be rain. Much of the precipitation will be gone by the time the coldest air moves in by Sunday night. But Monday will be chilly. Partly sunny, 39, and then for Christmas Eve, Tuesday, sunny with a high of 41, and it looks like Christmas Day around here will be partly to mostly sunny and high temperatures in the mid-40s. So at least for Christmas here, no white Christmas for South Central Kentucky. That's the way it looks right now. But the main concerns over the coming days, the major impacts that the weather is going to have on you, first of all, the winds. Quite breezy over the coming days, all the way through at least Sunday. And then the concerns of high water, swollen creeks and streams and rivers. Uh, Low water fords will be flooded on some of the back roads that have those. So that's the concern here as we get into the upcoming weekend. In the meantime, thanks for listening. God bless. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to WBKO.com. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day.